Hello to you watching. This is uh, I'm Javi Teacher, and this is Finding Yangsan. And today we have uh, two special guests, Terry and Siska. Hi. How are you guys doing? Thank you for having us. We're very excited to uh, be on your show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, so tell us a little bit about you guys, about yourselves. Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, my name is Siska, and I I obviously live in Yangsan. Uh, I am from South Africa mm. and I'm currently working as a native English teacher here at Ahagwan. And uh, yeah, I've been living in Yangsan for five years actually because it's such a wonderful place. Yeah. Yeah, same. Like we came over together, both South African. We've been together for a very, very long time. And yeah, we've been living in Yangsan, chilling, teaching, and on our way out, basically. <laughs> nice. How do you guys like it so far? Or how did you, how did you guys like it? Since yeah. you guys are leaving Young, soon. Yeah, Youngstown is a cool place. Like we, we had some really good times here and mm. definitely going to miss it. Like Youngstown is a really cool place. Chill, close to everything, but just far away enough to relax. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, we. Um, I remember because we, we lived in Korea for a year before we came here again. And oh, we wow. lived in Daegu and it was really, it was, it was a nice place that time because we were much younger than now, obviously. But... Uh, um, then when we applied again, we really wanted to be in Busan and then I, I saw this job posting and I started like researching a bit online about Yangsan and I just got like a really good feeling about it and yeah, when we got here, I was just like, wow, um, I'm really glad we took this job and yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, as you can see, the scenery is really nice and like Terry said, um, you you are close to Busan, you can go to shows, you can do all the kind of city things that you want to do, but it's so nice to just be able to come back to a place that's a bit more chill. You know? mm. Yeah, I feel that. Damn, wow. That was well said. <laughs> well, you, Terry? Yeah, well, I fully agree with everything she said. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. know you guys were in Daegu before this. Yeah, our uh -huh. first year in Daegu was a bit crazy. Like, obviously, it was our first time in the big city. Like, yeah. Our first year in Korea. So, like, we wanted to get out and body and see places and people. Okay. And yeah, it's, it was nice for one year, but I cannot imagine doing that again. Ever. Okay. <laughs> and you guys went back to South Africa before coming back over here? Yeah, yeah. We oh, went wow. back to South Africa for like a year and a half, I think, around there. Yeah, okay. about Decided, like, two years. Yeah, so you, okay. We want to get out of town a bit, so we went yeah. to Yonsan. <laughs> you guys were kind of veterans by the time you came out here then. <laughs> Yeah. A little bit. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> no. Yeah. Like we're, we're solid vets now. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, we are senior we... citizens of Young Side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we knew what to look for. We knew at least what we wanted. So that, that helped a mm. lot. Yeah. Okay. Especially starting out as a new teacher or ESL. You yeah. Know, like foreign teacher. So. Yeah, okay. Hmm. What made you guys decide to come to South Korea? Well, originally. Dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. that too. If we're gonna be honest, like uh, we had some study study loans and, and mm. stuff to pay off, yeah. and we had some friends who came over just before us, and they were like, "Hey, it's a cool place. Come and check it out." And we were fresh out of uni, so we were like, "Why not?" Yeah, and we always <laughs> wanted to like do a little something after we finished uni, and, and um, I mean, like his dad actually, like his dad is a javelin coach, and wow. he <laughs> had to. Um, but he had to come to Korea. Yeah, they had like a training camp here before the Beijing Olympics. Yeah. Yeah, so and he so lived in Daegu for a bit, like a few weeks. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. I remember him, like, he, he bought a book and he gave us the book and I kind of flipped through the book and I was like, wow, it's, it's, it looks like a really beautiful culture. Mm. And then I started looking a bit more into it because obviously I've always been, like, kind of interested in, in Asian culture and Asian things, okay. but I didn't know that much. And uh, yeah, like, I mean, Korea is a good option. Like, it's a beautiful country. The people are very friendly. And like, obviously you have your challenges and stuff living as an expat in Korea, but I, f I feel it's like that in any, yeah. any situation. Yeah, so. definitely. Mm. Let's flip this thing around. What made you come to Korea? Me? Oh man, it's gonna sound kind of stupid, but I came out here to change the world. Okay. Uh, I figured that there's, there, yeah, this country kind of takes education seriously. Mm. So I figured if, they're willing to take it seriously, so will I. Okay. And just kind of uh, put my stamp on that. Just kind of, uh, I don't know, be as much of an influence on this next generation over here That's as I could. That's respectable, man. Yeah, very. Much more honorable than 
a reason for coming over. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, everyone's got their reason, you know. Yeah. I've met a lot of people from different walks of life out here. Some cool people, not too cool people, some weird people, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you can't really... I kind of learned you can't really shit on a person for, for the, whatever reason they have for coming out here. Yeah. yeah. True, no, everyone yeah. has different motivations, I get that. Yeah. Oh. He's cool. What are some things that you guys are really happy that you learned, or what are some things that you, you're, I don't know, learned or learned to overcome? Or well, I feel proud of. Yeah, I feel very fortunate to be able to teach children and okay. to. I've learned actually quite a lot. I feel about like just people mm. in general, like working with children every day and and seeing like the different ways they react to things, or when you kind of get a bigger idea of like how important it is how you present yourself mm. and like obviously we teach all the children we teach elementary and, and uh, um, middle school students but I mean I feel you have such a big influence on them and at any age and yeah. it's very important to kind of try to obviously you don't know everything in the world but I think it is important to kind of try to I know we only teach them like English or whatever but you know, some values, share some values and how to just react in certain situations. And I think you you actually play a bigger part in their life than you think you do. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, that's how I feel. And I think you said it perfectly too, uh, how you present yourself. You know, it's really That's really important. Mm. Like, yeah, there's a time and place for everything. I mean, yeah. Like, when you're at work or whatever, like you have to uh, take pride in your appearance and yourself and your behavior and I mean you do have a very big impact in the like in kids lives like, it matters so yeah. I think a lot of people like maybe don't realize how important it is to yeah. not show up at work hungover or like Dude. not swear in front of the kids or, you <laughs> yeah know. it's a big one yeah. I mean everyone goes through that our first year like I, I showed up at work hungover once and it was the shittiest day of my life like <laughs> Yeah. You have to, you have to not only entertain kids, but you have to, like, keep everything under control. And if you are not in control of yourself, like, how can you expect that from anyone else? Like, if you don't respect yourself, how do you, how do you expect kids to respect you? Dude, yeah. yes, that's exactly it. Man. You got to take pride in yourself. A bit. Oh. <laughs> hey, fucking hey, Terry. <laughs> that's good, man. I think, yeah, that's uh, that's actually really helpful. Ah, uh. <laughs> but do you guys have any like? Uh, like what's like your best teacher moment? Like you guys have like like a really like solid, happy, like proud moment where you're like, man, I was a really great teacher it, at that time, like right then and there. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I don't have one specific memory or like, I just, I, I'm proud of like the relationship I built with most of my students. Like every day when I get to work, they all greet me like by name and Aww. Like I, I know all the kids by name as well, and we have like over 300 students at our campus. Like yeah. I know every one of them, and like they are all like you see when you first start teaching kids, they're all shy and scared to talk to you because you're the mm. strange foreigner. And I mean now they come up to you for just a chat between classes, and yeah. they, I mean it's nice. It's just cool to see kids being comfortable with a person from a different culture, a different yeah. country, and I mean they want to chat and they're actually sad because we're leaving. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like that. Like, and I, I think, cool. yeah, like when we came here the first time, obviously you're, you're young and you're fresh out of college, so you don't really know what to expect, right? Mm. And then as the years gone, has gone by, like you kind of realize I've learned my role as a foreign English teacher here is like the most important thing is to engage with the children and, and create a, a comfortable environment for them to express themselves because that's like where you learn, like that's the spot where you learn. Like sure you have to, maybe your syllabus is different and you have to follow a book or whatever, but you really have to try to put in that extra little effort, you know, just to, to make kids feel comfortable because essentially you're here for them to become comfortable, to interact in a second language and to speak in a second language. And yeah, if you're gonna be this rigid or person or not really care about what you're doing, like they're not gonna learn anything. So yeah. I feel that's important. And like you said, like we know every student by their names and they come up to us and we talk about it. And it's just cool to see, like, especially with the younger kids, like the elementary kids. Um, so when you like start off the first few classes, like you said, they're super shy. And then 
like say two months go by, three months go by, and you can really see the how they progress in in their language skills. Yeah, yeah they and pick up on your habits as well. Like when yeah. I greet kids and they're like, "Hey, teacher," I'm like, "Hey, hey," always, "Hi, hi." <laughs> And now when I see them, they're all like, hi, hi. Or, like, <laughs> oh, yes. So I tell them, like, hey, good job. And now they all, like, mimic me when they, they do oh. something. And they're like, oh, good job. Like, I mean, yeah. that's like seven, eight-year-old kids. Like, it's funny. Yeah, yeah it's cute. It's, yeah. it's very cute. And they really do. They, oh, they're in here, man. They're in here. I'm yeah. really going to miss them. And, like, yeah, we've just been really fortunate to be yeah. able to, mm. to share are most of our time with like really cool kids. Yeah, so. we also have a really good relationship with our bus. I yeah. mean, we've been with the same school for five years and I mean, we've never had any beef with our bus. Like that's, I think that says something. Like, that's great. We're lucky, we're really fortunate because it doesn't always work out like that. Like yeah. a lot yes. of people do get stuck with shitty jobs and like less than desirable <laughs> relationships. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, we're really happy and we're leaving on a high note. So, yeah, I think it's cool. Man, that's great. And man, I, when you said learning all the kids' names and engaging with them, I don't think most people know how important something that small mm. is to a kid. Just knowing their names, like, yeah, dude, oh. And you learn what, 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 what triggers them or like, yeah. things they do like, things they don't like. You learn about their personalities and I think that really goes a long way. Like if you show actual interest, the kids will respect you and it's not about like being scared of you because you're a teacher and mm. like they they, they they listen to you because they want to yeah wow. i think that's pretty cool that's important yeah. to try to a mutual get respect that. yeah yeah man ugh, that's that's actually like uh, perfect i couldn't i couldn't said it i couldn't have said it any better myself but <laughs> oh, i'm glad that there's people here like this actually uh how about any like bad experiences you guys have any like something uh, that not, you were just that really tested you or anything yeah, that mean, happened yeah, to you all of course, like there were, were here there, there's been mm. some times where yeah, things kind of like got on your nerves or like you got a little agitated or stuff but nothing like super serious nothing major we've been lucky in that sense like terry said but i must add i think like you have obviously the certain idea when you come here and you like sure people come here for different reasons and but um yeah, the, it is a different culture and it is a very fast-paced culture, especially yeah. if you're going to work at a hog one. People should know, like, <laughs> I have you, story actually. Yeah, really like you have to, you have to adapt to it and you have to follow, if I'm quite honest, you have to follow their rules and mm. you have to, yeah, follow the rules at the place where you work, obviously. Yeah. And only then, like when you, I feel when you work hard for what you like the point where we are at now it's like we worked hard for that point so they do respect your input or they mm. do like you know it becomes a bit more not relaxed but you know what i mean like it does that make sense yeah no it does yeah like people kind of put a little bit more trust in you and you kind of have more of a say in uh like i don't want to say office politics but just yeah not like the way the way things yeah kind of not, operate yeah, yeah yeah not everything obviously but yeah. uh I just, um, it is kind of a, a shock. I, obviously, like we're from South Africa, things are different. Obviously, when we're from the US, where things are different there. Yeah. And like some people are from Canada, some people are from England or whatever. So everybody kind of has their own frame of reference where they're coming from. But that's just what I feel sometimes people just keep an open mind. I think mm. that would be like the best kind of thing in that sense, dealing with these kinds of things. Obviously, don't just take everything and not stand up for yourself yeah, and do that yeah. you have to do that but uh yeah just just try to be open-minded about things it's yeah bad things well not bad experiences do happen and i feel that that's just like that for any kind of job i kind of feel well, so. at least like a like a bit of an awkward experience like i can share but it's not work related that's, that's all right okay. man that, that's okay, all good so, <laughs> um like i don't know if like people might not know this but like with koreans <laughs> You go, you get fully naked, <laughs> go soak in the tubs, and then like, they have like shower areas. With shampoo, like you, you're supposed to take your own shampoo and everything. But anyway, we went to this new sauna, like one in Nayunde, very busy place, big. This was way before COVID, but yeah, um, we were soaking in the tubs and we got ready to go rinse off at the showers <laughs> before we left. And it was me and my one buddy from Ireland, if I remember correctly, and our buddy Ali. <laughs> like English Iranian descent and um, there was this basket of shampoo so they started like <laughs> washing off and I, I was on my way to get some shampoo and 
suddenly like this big bald Korean guy came up to us, started yelling at us. It was his basket, like his toiletry. Oh! <laughs> My buddies are standing there like all soapy and shit. <laughs> and he's oh, this naked man. guy like yelling at us. Yeah, that was funny. Like we always almost got into a fight like with a naked Korean dude. In the oh school. my God, man! That's yeah. <laughs> of all places too. Yeah. Everyone's naked. You can't hide, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was good fun. Like I'll definitely remember that for some oh, time. Oh man! Oh yeah. 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 No, there's a lot of. I'm just trying to think of. of I mean, there's been funny times. I don't remember everything, but yeah. that that one that, stands that, out. That's a funny. Yeah, that's a funny yeah. Situation. Oh man. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I got an image of that, and I don't know why, but I, I picture him with a gold chain too for some reason. <laughs> it wasn't. You, I think it was unchained. But. Oh man, yeah. worse. <laughs> no class. <laughs> yeah. Oh it was, man. It was yeah. Funny. It was funny. Mm. yeah. 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 Bad experiences. If if I can add that, like, uh, in in a social context, is uh, maybe as a woman uh, uh, with like lighter hair and lighter okay. eyes. Uh, like I would. Often people would ask me if I'm from Russia, or men oh, would just wow. kind of assume that I'm here for other reasons. And like I've been harassed a few times, which was not great. Uh, oh man! So yeah, that's that's just something I think as as a woman coming here, or maybe whatever your plan is. Like those things do have like Korea is super safe. It is. It's like you can walk home alone at night and stuff. But I just feel people should know like you should be vigilant okay and you should know about things especially when you go out to bars or if you get into taxis and stuff like that I've heard some stories as well like these things do happen there are still men and people out there who want to take advantage of you and you uh, should be aware of it so okay. that's something that I would sorry I know it's a bit no no bit that's, darker that's maybe but that is that is something you should be aware of like oh. sure it is a safe place and you can you can do things it's perfectly fine but yeah, as a woman, I think any kind of woman, obviously coming here, like you should be aware that there are certain people, yeah, that don't always have the the best intentions. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, and I think people, yeah, back back whoever's watching, I think most people, yeah, need to know about stuff like that because yeah, everyone has this like uh, ideal image or romantic image of of Southeast Asia as this really nice, friendly. Uh, culture, but it still has its ugly sides. And, yeah. yeah. But okay. compared to most other places, it's still super safe. People okay. are friendly. No, that that is All for most of the part, tend yeah. tend to be a little grumpy, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, mostly friendly. Like, people are okay. friendly and welcoming, and like it's been like, awesome. Like, All right. Of course, like any any country, any city will, will have some sketchy characters. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, that's just life. Yeah. Is there anything, any like one thing that you feel you'll take away from Korea, like take back with you? Like, uh, I know memories, but maybe any habits or just a different, like a mindset or. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, when I first came, like I loved to go out and party. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was a big yeah, thing. Like yeah. I wanted to, and not just like, I wanted to party hard and mm. like, go hard. And kind of outgrew that. Like I feel like I, I got some some unhealthy habits and bad habits and okay. uh, at least exchange them for some good habits All right. <laughs> or better habits at least so yeah. that, that's cool I, I feel much more relaxed much more chill and at peace now so yeah cool. going back like I, I my mind's ready to like, actually put in some work and not mm. just like party the whole time so looking forward to that I feel like I'm ready okay. yeah like for me it's like Korea gives you that space to kind of mm. grow, be it emotionally or, or whatever you need. But I really do feel like I did grow a lot. Uh, and um, like, yeah, I just, I feel very grateful and fortunate to have had this time and to have lived in such a great country and be given the time and the space and the means to be able to yeah. work on myself personally. I feel that's, that's, that's great. On top of everything else that you can experience here and do here, that kind of happens as well so and yeah like other stuff like i would definitely always take off my shoes when i go okay. into my apartment oh, yeah. or my home right and uh, yeah. i take love yeah take off your shoes <laughs> and respect yeah like respect the culture and just being a little bit more open-minded on people's uh, opinions and mm. stuff and i love korean food like 
I'm totally like kimchi jjigae and mandu yes. and ramyeon, like those things. Ooh. I'm going to take that home with me. And Hell yeah. hopefully in South Africa, there are some Korean markets there. And gochugaru, like red pepper. Ooh. You guys, you have to try that. Like yes. Korean food is, is amazing. I think whatever, like whoever comes here, you have to have to experience that like eat the food don't go to mcdonald's or don't do that like don't go to subway yeah, yeah. If, you, if you want to just go kimchi john and bibimbap yes I promise you. yeah you can't go wrong with that that's the perfect yeah perfect combination actually yes. perfect traditional food yeah can't yeah. go wrong at all no. some dong dong ju yes yes yeah, yes, yes. So, perfect if, yeah. it, if it's rainy that's a bonus that's, yeah that's what it is yeah, yeah so that's some things that we would would take home with us and obviously all the memories like you said but yeah. uh yeah, like good habits. We okay. we formed good habits here, and I I do feel Korea gave us the space and the means mm. to be able to do that. So yeah, yeah. And save some money. Yeah, when save money. Like start saving from the beginning. Mm. Like don't waste your first two years or what. Like just spending everything. Like just because you have some disposable income, put it away. It doesn't mean you have to spend it. Put yeah. it away. Yeah, it helps. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. The sooner you start saving, the better. <laughs> yeah, it'll be better for everyone. Yeah. Uh, so like this is probably like the last question, but or maybe not even a question, but what is or yeah, what is uh, what piece of advice or any tips or tricks you would give to anyone that wants to come work over here or live over here? Learn basic Korean for one, mm. at least like not just survival Korean, but invest some time, like put in some time, a few hours a week, like learn some some Korean, like but at least basic to intermediate, like just get some vocabulary it will help you in the long run like it will help you so much yeah learn the alphabet learn to read and yeah put like, in some work and people will notice and they'll be yeah. nice to you as well it helps it it gets it gets you far yeah like it really does get you yeah, far if you does. put in the effort to do that yeah. they don't appreciate expect things to be the same like they, you're moving to a different country on the other side of the world maybe like depending on where you're coming from but like things are different like immerse yourself in the culture and just accept that things are not the same as back home. And very important, I feel, respect the culture. Like, mm. yeah, respect the culture, respect the people. You are a guest in their country. Yeah, you can still go crazy and enjoy yourself, but don't be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> don't be a dick. Yeah. That's probably the most important. Bottom line. Bottom line, don't be a dick. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's really good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, is there any, I don't know, any last words you guys have or want to just add or say? If no, well, well, we're, this is the last time we're going to see you, man. And that makes me real sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah, one like, thing. Uh, people don't know, but we're leaving. Like, yeah. So, like, yeah. it sucks. I'm going to miss you. Like, and that's we, another... Me too, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Like, that's another great thing about Korea is all the amazing people you get to meet from all over the world yeah. along the way. And I really feel like it's relationships and bonds that you build that it really makes an impact. It has an impact on your life. And it... I feel and we are lucky in today's modern life, you know, mm. every now and then you can shoot someone a message or you can like a photo on yes. Instagram or yeah. whatever, or you can watch a YouTube video. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just know how it goes mm. with the people like you meet and uh, yeah, it's it really does mean a lot. So yeah, we're happy, happy about that. That's something that we'll take back as well. You know? oh, that's good. That's that's good stuff right there. All right. I'm gonna miss you too, yeah, Terry. Man. We had some good skate sessions out here. Water park, baby. We're yeah. coming to you from the water park. Yeah, most beautiful place in Yongsan. Yeah. My opinion, of course. But it's chill. Uh, yeah. I likes it. It's a great place. Yeah, and if you can move to Yongsan, don't think twice about it. It's a wonderful place. Yeah, great for hiking, beautiful river, long walks. You have beautiful sunsets with the sun dipping behind the mountains here. Yeah, oh, yeah. and it has all the, ba like, all the basic things you need. It has it all. And you can get on the subway if you want to go out or go do something in the city, so... Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. Mm. It's, close, it's close, but far enough away from everything. Mm. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. All right, well, this, uh, this was Terry and Siska. Thank you guys for being on my... Signing off. <laughs> yeah, on my, on my channel. Thanks uh, for having us. Yeah, yeah. we feel honored. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, first guest. Uh, but yeah, this is Finding Yangsan. I'm a hobby teacher. I'll check you guys later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>